We have a lot of influences and I guess it's all in the music. When was the first time that you really made something that was worth listening to? I don't remember anything. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you had the <laughs> you had the French name of uh, for uh, Fair and Loading in Las Vegas. Yeah, uh, that was the name of the band at that time. At, at yeah. that time, yes. Uh, in that time, did you had that lifestyle? Or I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. We were like, you know, like we were dressed like with the usual thing, like uh, black leather jackets, slim pants, uh, combat shoes. Uh, maybe one or two necklaces and uh, a weird haircut and uh, some piercing at that time and that's it. But not the LSD trips? No, no, nothing of that. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, when I'm listening, I'm listening to a song like Take It Easy, I hear yeah. the Belgian strokes. Is it, uh, do you hear that often? That you sound a little bit like that? The, the uh, you mean uh, the Strokes, the band? Yeah. Um, because not take often, but okay. I, I know them and I'm, I think I like them. I think they're like really good, okay. really good band. Um, and you, you mean like what we? Uh, the way uh, way it sounds, take it easy. Sounds a little bit uh, laid back and uh, very clean sound. It's uh, yeah. it, the first time I heard that song. It was it it, it, it reminded me to the Strokes directly. So yeah. I questioned myself: uh, Are are they examples for you or not at all? I did listen a lot to the first album, which was uh, This Is It. Uh, I think it was amazing. I did love it. Uh, and. Um, and what can I say? Like we're listening a lot of, of different. Every member are listening to a lot of different kind of music. Have a lot of different influences, and um, and the strokes are maybe among them. Uh, what we like, and it's true. It's like uh, we don't have like 50 years of um, uh, rock and roll heritage or rock and roll industry heritage up on our heads. So what we do is like we take a lot of influences and then we put them together. And then you have Belgian music, I guess. That's, that's so, the way how so you So it means it means like yeah, you have like different parts. Some can some can sound a bit like strokish or the other like more like Radiohead or Death from Above or Animal Collective or whatever, like we're listening to a lot of different things. Or Rihanna, why not? <laughs> and then we put that together and you know some of the songs what what it's true is like we don't like to have like exactly the same songs or songs color all the way we like to have like some different kind of feeling some can be much more like brutal and other songs can be much more like ro romantic even romantic or just much more based on the melody yeah. Or yeah. is that mood based on uh, the mood of the songs, based on the mood you were in that moment when you wrote that song? Or As I told you before, it's like when you take like four years of your time, it's good because like you can write the same song being in several and different moods. But it's the same song, the same writing. And then and that was that was great too to take your time just to see the songs evolving through the years you know uh, like you have during those four years at one point they were like we were invaded by electro music it was everywhere yeah. and we were writing some pop kind of pop rock songs and it was interesting to see how the arrangements were evolving because of the influence of the electro music and and I think that's that's the strength of this album. It's like having uh, it's a picture of time. Yeah, yeah. Go through different kind of period or tendencies, and uh, so yeah, we have a lot of influences, and I guess it's all in the in in the music. But it it doesn't it's not restrained to music or influences or movies or or people or you know. Uh, everything actually around us.